Hello everybody, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Center. After last episode of taming the Shastasaurus and getting the uh, third to last artifact, I figured that in this episode we really need to have something going in the background to try and progress the aloes a lot more in their mutations before we try to find a boss. So, instead of having the six perfect females, I've upgraded to have 15. <laughs> I also have a three melee mutation on this male in the middle now. So we'll be able to uh, continue that forward, and the base level on the next one should be uh, 243, if they have the uh, other mutation that we're after. But hopefully this way we'll be able to have a lot more eggs coming in at once, and we'll get that done a lot quicker. I just kind of moved some of the creatures around as well. That's, not, that's pretty much all that I've done here. And uh, the plan for today is I want to get working on the aviary thing that I mentioned. Uh, kind of starting building this up here and flattening out the roof and then adding that tower. Um, but there is a creature that I would like to tame to use to actually build it with. It would be a lot easier than trying to uh, be on foot or use some of the other flyers just because they kind of get stuck going forward. You can't really back them up or anything. There is, however, a creature called a Tapihara, which I pointed out in a couple episodes before. That I would love to tame. They are very versatile. They can, they're can they very maneuverable. They can go left, right, up, down, forward, back while flying. They are very nice creatures. Hopefully we can find one of those today. I think, if I remember right, I've seen a good amount just kind of in the, uh, the trees kind of straight out here. I need to clear that death. I don't want that on the screen anymore. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to clear out some of this inventory stuff, and then we'll head out and try to see if we can find one. And if you did notice in my inventory earlier, I do have a treasure map that I found. I uh, did a little cave run down to the uh, jumping puzzle area to try to see if I can get myself some good loot. Didn't really find anything too crazy. I did find a pretty good riot chest piece, but we'll uh, worry about trying to upgrade to that some other time. We're going to head out now and see if we can find ourselves a Tapihara. At least one. I'd love to have a pair. But... Uh, there's no saying how long it might take to find one of these things. And uh, I think while we're out, I may as well do this treasure map and see what we can find. So it is that direction. Okay. Uh, we'll put a marker there. We'll head up that direction as well. See if maybe we can find them. As I think they can spawn in any of these jungle areas. So can't really say I need to focus in on one in particular. Well, hopefully we'll find one of those on our way over there. If not, we'll come back and check around this area again. I think I should definitely get some bolas, actually. I'll be able to get the necessary materials while I'm out, so I'll just make some. Ooh, a spino as well. I really gotta be uh, looking into those, because I'd love to use those for bosses, too. Only level 50? Mm. We'll probably just decimate that with navy, but we'll just move on for now. So nice traveling around on the ground, honestly. I've been in the fly I've been in the sky way too much. As I as we're literally trying to go out and find ourselves another flyer. I mean this one's trying to make things more convenient when it comes to the building, but you know. There we go. Did that just give me another treasure map? I think it did. I think I saw that on there. Wow. Alright. It's gonna be good treasure day. Ooh, an alpha. Maybe I should fight the Alpha with Navy. I have not done that since the beginning. Lure it down here a little bit. There we go. 1,500 exactly for a headshot, which is crazy damage from anything, really. I mean, 500 is pretty good as it is, honestly, too. Navy has gotten really strong. Oh, it gave me a pike and a bunch of berries, which I don't need. Throw those out. We don't want you. All right. Treasure map one. Make sure nothing's going to try to attack me as I hop on down. Let's do this. Fingers crossed. Give me something huge. Well, something is attacking as soon as I landed. <laughs> Unlike what I thought. Maybe. Come on, dude. Alright, fight back. Oh, 
We can't get bested by saber tooths. Come on, dude. I was a max level. <laughs> Dang, I know I was saying the other episode, at least one of them not long ago, that I wouldn't mind taming another saber. That was a male, too, huh? Well, okay. That's fine. So I didn't really get to look at what was in that drop, but we got uh, Ascendant Chitin Boots and a Coup Saddle. That's a good Aku Saddle. I can't complain about that. I think it just came with the meat as well, which is random, but okay. Can't complain about that too much. I don't know if I really have run into very many horses around the map so far. I think I've only ran into the one, and it died before I had a chance to go back to it, so I don't even think I kept it in the video. Uh, let's see. Where's this other one? Is this going to take us right back to where we came from? Pretty much. Ooh, a Serato. I could try to tame a Serato as well. I've got really good saddle blueprint back at base for him, but I just, after doing them in the in Scorched, I haven't really like seriously considered taming them yet. It's not like they're a massive pain to tame or anything. They just are a little bit different than normal. Ooh, hello. We're just going to flutter all the way over there. Yeah, they would be kind of fun, too. I know they can get really strong, especially with the saddle that I have. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see off of the back of Navy sometimes. I've been curious about these ruins as well. Let's fight this this Spino and check it out and see if there's anything of interest in here. Oh, my God. Five stomps was enough to knock this thing down. Navy, you are too good, man. You are too good. Does this go anywhere? I wonder if this goes into that cave from underneath it. Or is this just, just a little pool? Oh, yeah, no. This feels like that goes into a cave of some sort. Or, like, it was probably one of the other entrances to one of the ones I've already done. Interesting. I've just been curious about going into this place since I uh, I saw it quite a while ago. Just haven't actually spent the time to do it. If I had my scuba gear, I would I would check it out. I know that the I'm pretty sure that that one hole just right outside of our base that goes under the water. Pretty sure that goes down to the underworld. But I don't know uh, what I would expect out there or down there. I know they there was something in the patch notes recently saying that they finally added creatures down there. But, uh... I don't know, man. Also, this one actually is bringing me to the swamp. Oh! Game, what did I say about doing this with the water? I didn't want to see it ever again. It looks awful. Gotta relog, hold on. Okay, that does seem to fix it, which is good. Hate that horrible bug. Let's get this marked on the map again, though, so I can uh, see exactly where I've got to go. This is bringing me a little bit further into the swamp, which I don't appreciate, but it is what it is. Uh, at least we have Navy here, and they should be able to protect me if anything goes wrong. See if I can just dig on this rock like I normally would be able to. All right, treasure number two, some gilly, Pelagorna stuff. I eh, don't really need that. Okay. All right, well, I mean, the stuff that I'm getting from here, it is high-quality stuff. It's just so far, it's been stuff that I'm not really worried about. We already have a really good saddle on Laddie, and like I was saying earlier with the horse, I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to find a high-level one at this point in time. We got, a, we got a couple berries here. 45... And 65. Okay. Not too concerned about them. I am going to get their attention and then uh, finish them off with Navy here. There we go. Oh, it bumped on a rock. Alright. Alright, dude. <laughs> there we go. The one on the other side of the river... It's still, in the, it's still in the water. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to hit it, because it might move by the time I fire. Yeah. Let's just get to the other side of the river. I don't want to waste any arrows like I, like I did before, trying to tame Ernie. Oops! 
There we go. Pressing the wrong button beforehand. It's gonna take a minute, I'm sure, to find one of these guys. Especially one if it's a higher level. I'll give it a full-on actual try before I decide to try to track anything. That's kind of what my my rule has been with using that. It's around for if I have no luck trying to find it on my own. I don't want to spend five hours trying to find something in the background and then uh, have wasted a day trying to tame, uh, trying to record something where nothing goes anywhere. All right, as as fun as it is to run around on. Navy here. I do think it technically would be better to fly around on the Pteranodon, so we can at least kind of see from above where these things are. And uh, I can bring a couple rare flowers with me, kind of as a backup option. If I accidentally scare them away, I can make them angry with me and have them chase me somewhere else. So I'll bring a few of those as a backup and see if I can lure one somewhere, if I find it, and then uh, hopefully we'll find find a few here soon. I'll just drop off these, this loot wall back here too. And we'll make a few. Actually, do I already have some? I may already have some made. Yeah, I have some bolas made. We'll have those with us too. That'd be a good plan. Stop them from getting anywhere. I don't plan on necessarily putting down a trap for this thing, but uh, I'll have to play that by ear too, probably. Scan over the top of the jungle areas, see if we see anything flapping around more than just this pteranodon here. Oh, there's another Gigantoraptor down there. It's only a level 10. I definitely don't want to worry about a level 10. Let's say it is apparent though. It is. I don't see a little baby anywhere. I wonder if something happened to it though. It's another navy color. Ooh, aloes. That's not what we want. We're trying to be in the skies. Focus today, Terry. Come on, man. What you doing to me? That is an RG. Not the flyer we're after. I feel like earlier in the episodes, there was a higher level one nearby that I haven't been able to see ever since. I don't know if it... I It may have happened before the wipes, so they're most likely not around anymore. Oh. There's a Tapiara. Something scared this one up into the sky already. Oh, it's a 140. Uh, well, I'm burning to death up here, but uh, I wonder if you would be... <laughs> okay, it's after me. So yeah, this is what you need to do if you find a high-level Tappy or something that's been scared off. It's like the only way you're going to get them to follow you... Normally, they just run off and are terrified for pretty much no reason. If I, I'm kind of thinking if I can get them inside the upper part of the base. Just kind of focus on trying to hit Terry for a minute. Then I can throw a bullet at it. Oh, it backed off as soon as I got in here. It's like it knew what I was trying to do. Just got to keep an eye on it. We'll try again here in a sec. With another one. I can't let it get too far. It's so fast. So speedy. Alright, you. Um, let's do another one. But I think I have to kind of be within range. Hello. You can come after me? Yes, you are. But so is the other Pteranodon. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, there's two Pteranodons there. Well, that's not really what we're after, but... If I can get this, uh... Tapihara stuck with the Ebola, then, you know, we're good. Alright! Oh my god. It's stuck up on the ledge. That almost fell right down to the ground. So I did double-check Dota Dex. It said don't shoot it in the face. I was checking a high level, like a 150 specifically. And, uh... We should be okay here. I am going to need some superior kibble. I don't want to do a full pull. I'll do one full pull. Oh! I don't know if I'm going to be able to access you from there. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about this?
Well, it does technically feel like this is safe. I don't think anything's gonna get up there and bite it. Uh, oh, hello, little compy. What are you doing here? How about this? You survive a shot from this bow, and I'll try to tame you. How about that? No? He's a coward. All right, let's get some kibble. So, 140, we'll take five kibble. Does it say I'll need any narcotics? Nope. Okay, cool. So we'll just make five kibble. Hopefully that should be pretty straightforward. Only thing that'll be uh, less straightforward is finding a way to get up there. But uh, I'm sure if I kind of hop down a little bit just from above, I could probably land on the same spot it's on. Kibbles are ready. Let's go tame this thing. If I can learn how to use stairs. <laughs> there we go. Moment of truth, Terry. Do I just need to hop down on top of this thing, or is am I, or am I gonna get stuck? I don't even know what that's on. Like that's really strange. <laughs> it shouldn't have slid forward when I knocked it out. Um. Oh, there's the compy. They heard me calling it a coward. So, you gonna live? You actually did. Wow, that's crazy. I am impressed. But I lied. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good. I can land on it. I don't know... I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just have to fall and take some damage. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess all that's taming up. We can go and double check on the aloes and see how they're doing. Alright, so how many eggs have we hatched, or not hatched up, but laid here? We've got 36 eggs already, huh? I'm going to have them pause for a moment. We're going to see if we have anything new in our mutations. Aw, oh, man, I think I left Icarus over there after I spawned back in. I'm going to have to go pick him up. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I didn't realize. Uh, let's get these eggs kind of going and we'll check them real fast before going and grab him. Okay, let's see. Do we have any 243s in this first round of eggs today? Not seeing any threes other than in the middle one. Oh, there's a 243. What do we have here? Which one is it, by the way? I can't find it. Oh, I saw it. 243. Come on, melee. Nope, that's not melee. So, the melee at the three mutations is already at 378, so that's not what it is here. I think it might be in the food, because that seems a little bit high. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, no, stop all. Oh, no, what have I done? Oh, no. Well, um, that's awful. <laughs> so much for all of that being organized. Uh, I'm going to hop on Grinch and clear him out. Oh, my God. Okay, I think that does officially clear out all of those after my horrible input. Um, uh, <laughs> oh no. I'm going to have to go move everybody back into place now. That's awful. <laughs> Even this one was trying to come up here. Oh, man. And there's the downside for the Gorilla Guards. <laughs> Do one wrong move, and they are on you. There's still the one that I did claim in here. But they don't need it. It doesn't have the right mutations. Still have to deal with all the aloes, but I've moved around the majority of the other creatures now. But we need to go get Icarus. I cannot leave him on the beach in baby form. It's not a good idea. Looks like another berry's already spawned there, too. Crazy how fast they'll respawn back in. Let's see. There's my boy. Sorry. Didn't mean to leave you there. 
I was just in a hurry to get the treasure. Did I? I thought... What happened? I pressed the button. It gave me rocks. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Silly little misinputs here and there. Hopefully they don't keep happening. But it looks like our tapihara is almost all taped up. And that'll be nice. Honestly, should just build a ladder right there. It'd be a lot easier than dealing with these wonky stairs. They're way too wonky. And what are you doing at my, at my door? <laughs> so, looks hilarious and awful at the same time. Alright, come on. You gotta go back to your spot, too. I really, really need to be uh, putting all these ones that are gonna ch sit around here. Oh, I need to tell them all to ignore group whistles. I was not thinking about that. I only did that on Scorched Earth, like, right at the end of being on there, so... I forgot that it was a thing I could do. Okay, well, now that that mess has been handled, other than the aloes, of course, just because there are literally 16 of them that I have to move around now, and only one saddle to do that with, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm, uh, I'm going to take Icarus, because I went and grabbed him in between that as well, and uh, we're going to go up and check on this Tapihara. Just kind of make sure that uh, nothing's going to come over and bother it. Which it shouldn't, because it's literally floating above uh, above our ruins here. But uh, you never know. Better safe than sorry, honestly. Okay, any second now, I would imagine. Just have the one more of these. I'm not sure if she's going to end up being down there or kind of pop back up up here. That's kind of why I've backed up into the corner, just to make sure that I don't get pushed off. But... Uh, this will be interesting. It'll be nice to have a Tapihara all done. I don't know if I have... I don't think I have the saddle learned. I don't even know if I have a better one at the base. If I do, I just wasted some engram points, but it's okay. It's been a while since I've actually spent any. I've been lucky enough for some of the other things that I've gotten that I haven't had to use it as much. Alright, and there she is. She actually did pop up back up here. That's actually insane. I thought that... I thought for sure she was going to be down on the ground. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Tapihara. Come with, come up with a name here in a little bit. Let's bring it down here. See if I have a saddle for you, and if not, we'll have to make one for you. Check the maid saddles. Da, nope, I only have a manta one. And do I have a blueprint? I don't. I actually just have an RJ one. Okay, that's actually totally fine. Also, don't have to worry about spending crazy amount of resources on a Tapahara saddle. So I'll make one of those, not 51. And we'll take you out for a little spin. Kind of show off the reason that I specifically want to tame one of you today. Throw that saddle on. Take off. So, Tapiharas, unlike Pteranodons, can actually go straight up, straight down, strafe left, right, back, forward. They're very, very nice, as I mentioned earlier. They're, I don't know if they're quicker or if they're slower. That, honestly, I cannot say. The thing I can say, though, is this: they do have a passenger seat, which is very crucial for a taming method for the Quetzal, if you're playing single player, which I might show off at some point if I can find a high-level Quetzal. Um, I've only seen the lower-level ones so far, so I'll keep an eye out going forward, and if I find one, I'll uh, we'll make it a point to go and try to tame one doing that method. Because I've never tamed it with... I've never tamed a Quetzal by knocking it out of the air using the Chain Bola, which I know you can. But uh, I've always kind of done it this way, which is kind of interesting. I kind of want to fly farther away from the base, and I'll show you what I'm talking about a little bit. Just a small taste. Uh, let's land up on this rock here. I don't want to be too close to base because I have to use certain whistles that are... Um, group based and after the mistake I made earlier we don't really want that to happen again so land this thing here I'm going to say that I want to sit in the passenger seat uh, which is passenger seats yep we'll sit in the front seat and then while I'm sitting in the front seat I can actually use my weapon now if I'm if I'm controlling the tapihara I can't but if I am in a seat I can whistle <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> Why aren't you flying, you silly? Maybe if I tell it to attack that Pteranodon? There we go. That's what we're talking about. So you can take off in the air on the Tapihara from a different saddle seat. And then I can actually fire from the air 
using the Tapihara. So I'm using the uh, the button here to do the go here command. So if I was anything, if I was too close to base, every single one of my creatures would be trying to go to this this point. But since I'm just kind of like this, I can send the Tapihara after something. So this is very, this is something that I would do to try to tame a Quetzal. And I would just keep firing from the back of the Tapihara to knock it out. It's a little bit unpredictable when it comes to where it lands, but hopefully, you know, if you're lucky, you're able to get it to go where you're, where you're planning. It'll get you to land, or at least get close enough to land. But yeah, that's a cool benefit of the Tapiharas in general. They also have a tech saddle, which obviously I don't have unlocked right now, but uh, if the bosses on this map unlock it, then we'll be able to kind of fly these guys around using one of those, which makes it kind of like a jet. And that's really cool also. But yeah, well, using the uh, specific like, up and down abilities for their flying, I'll be able to kind of use this to be very quick about building the uh, um, aviary that I was talking about before. We'll just fly back into base now that it's gotten really dark and rainy again. I feel like it has been storming a lot the last few days in-game for Ark. And I think, to keep it kind of short, I'm going to name you Tara. I know it's a Tapihara, and it's kind of cutting stuff out of the middle, but that's fine. <laughs> that's a naming convention. It's fine. I feel like this will be very nice to go around and find drops with as well. How high is the stamina on this thing? I should probably take a picture of the stats. I wouldn't mind finding a high-level male. I do know that once I build this thing, I'll probably end up stopping this metal node from continually coming back, but I haven't actually been collecting from out here at all, so I'm not too concerned. Since I'm on single player, no one else will be mad at me either. <laughs> so I'm just going to build however I want to, I suppose. I'm going to finish up hatching the rest of these guys' eggs real quick. Just because, uh, I mean, I may as well. I'm already still around here and it's the middle of the night. I'll show you if anything cool shows up with the mutations or if anything happens there at all. And then in the morning, we'll take off and go do something else. So one of them was A243 as well, but same thing. Same amount of melee, so they're not going to be what we're after, so we'll just keep trying. Okay, well it took a while, but I was able to find another way to fit them all in here, have easier access to get into the mail. I do think it'd still be a pain when we have to swap them out, but it's a lot easier than uh, the uh, the way that it was. It is much better now. <laughs> it's still the middle of the night. I actually gammed up quite a bit so I could see over there, because that part's still super dark, but... Uh, I'll uh, go back to the normal stuff and we'll bring you back when morning actually hits. And the sun is finally back. We are up on the ridge above our base. I just have this getting started a little bit. Got a few foundations and a bunch of ceilings placed. But with Tara's help here, I was able to get these, the walls placed kind of from that spot I started a while ago and have these totally and entirely connected. So every little bit of, like every foundation that's down here should, if it does the same as it kind of did below, work for everything up here. So I shouldn't need to do a bunch of extra foundations or pillars in the middle to keep it fully closed. And we'll be able to actually seal this thing up, which would be nice. I wonder, because with the unscorched earth, the building that I made was way too big and the rain still kept getting inside and the snowstorms kept getting insti inside as well. So I wonder if this building will be considered too big to stop it, but uh, I guess there's only one way to know. And that's going to be finishing it up. Little status update. We're almost there. I've kind of, uh, I keep running out of materials though and I have to keep going out and grabbing more either stone or wood is the one that I've stopped on right now, but we're about to at least have the ceiling all closed in, and then after we have this up here, I'll be able to kind of find out how I want to lay out the um, aviary. I don't know why I keep forgetting that word. It's really not that difficult of a word to remember. It's actually a perfect opportunity to show off the mammoth. I just realized I never actually brought him out after we tamed him before. So we'll kind of hop onto... Yeah, we'll have Icarus on my shoulder. We'll throw this guy out here. I just realized I left the saddle back at the base. Well, we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, sir, here's your saddle. And I think I want to name you... Martin. Oops, I didn't. that's not how you spell it. Your name is Martin. Martin the Mammoth. So I'm having him come out here, collect wood... 
It's actually not that one. It is the space bar. That's the one, right? Yes, it is. Look at that. We got hundreds and hundreds of wood per a uh, per per go. I need to have him drop all the seed, the berries he just grabbed. Though, look at that. three uh, twenty-three levels already, just from collecting stuff and being in the cryopod for a little while. I'm gonna take a picture of his stats real quick. Gonna get a whole bunch more wood. So that is a lot of wood. <laughs> it is not actually as much as he can carry, obviously. But I think we're going to head back now because I don't want to get way too slow. And we're going to have to swim across this over here. I'll let him get some stamina first and then do it. But that is an insane amount of wood, considering that is not imprinted. It's not uh, mutated or anything. If I try to pull wood, how much does it say he has? 7,000 in one run. I, You know, as good as Woody is, I don't think he's, he brings in 7,000 wood at one go. I do know that he's not going to be able to fit through these gates. Yeah, he's big. He's a big boy. Um, so I think I'll go. I'll kind of like park him here right now. I'll run upstairs and I'll pull all the materials from him, and then I'll put it back in a cryopod just for his own safety. Okay, we got all that in there now, and Martin is put away for safety. Good times. Back to the build. Pego. I don't want that. Pick it up. Throw it out. <laughs> you do not belong inside my base. Drown for all I care. It's a beautiful parasaur. This is the reason why I'm, I'm sealing up the top. Because we get creatures randomly showing up in there. And I'm pretty sure they're falling in from here too. Of course it starts raining again. But we do have this whole upper layer actually all filled in now. Didn't take a whole lot of time. Almost about another in-game day or so. Uh, but, uh, I'm gonna start trying to think of the way that I want to set up this av this uh, aviary. Kind of having a big tower that kind of goes up to the platform, or maybe have the... Because I had mentioned almost in the first few episodes about a glass tower off to the side there. But maybe I could do something kind of higher up on that over here. It's all kind of up in the air. Almost literally. <laughs> At least it will be. And, uh... It'll be really cool to have that. It is a shame to lose a good amount of the natural light inside of the cave. However, it does kind of stop a lot of the things getting in. Ooh, looks like I didn't miss a spot over there with a couple ceilings. And I can go put those up right now because I actually have them in my inventory. But uh, that does actually kind of answer the question. It looks like it does at least stop the rain from getting in. It doesn't stop the... It doesn't give me the house buff or anything. But I do have at least... I don't have any rain coming down on me. So that's good. Ah yes, I'm hiding right in front of my face. Probably need another one, hold on. There we go. Oh, there's one there too. I've been needing to clear out these bushes so I can actually see where everything needs to go. Almost just fell into a hole. Yep, very good, okay. I'm thinking that since this one actually does have a straight wall down, I may have to move the grinder. But I'm thinking maybe we can set up an elevator on, like, along this spot that'll lead up into the tower. And then we'll use the tower to have our RGs and our uh, Tabiharas and all of our uh, Pteranodons as well. So if I have all of our flyers up there, and I'll maybe have a big platform on the top or if we end up getting a Quetzal. I think that'd be a really cool thing to have. So we have kind of the the, uh, the main floor, the upper floor from we're taking off for flight, and the lower floor where we have all of our kibble dinos and stuff. I feel like that's a, a pretty good way to progress the base a little bit. And then once we have um, some more bred up aloes, we'll actually be able to go do the boss fights and unlock the tech tier stuff, which I'm pretty sure I have an exact idea where I want to be putting the um, fabricator or the um, replicator. I'm thinking that I'm kind of like right in the middle of our platform out here. The thing is huge, so you want to give it a lot of space. And then I may put other things out here as well, just kind of to take up some more room of our uh, our big open platform. So before we end this episode, let's try to hatch up a couple more aloes and hope that we can get ourselves a couple more mutations in here. I kind of had them running the entire time I was building, so we have a lot of options here and a lot of potential. So let's hopefully... Uh, get some more mutations in and we'll have to start trying to get all the other uh, tributes for the Gamma tier boss fight. 
Round one has begun to hatch. Any luck this time? Nope. No 241's first round. Okay, round two. Not seeing any threes on the end yet. Wow, a lot of them actually went straight back to the, uh, the base levels. So, not so much. Oh, they're all hatched. I forgot to watch. Uh, there's a 243 right there. There are more than one. There's two. There's another one on that side. Okay, so 243. Where are you exactly in here? See the 243 right here. I actually grabbed one of the lower ones before. 243, that's not what we're after. Dang. Uh, there's one right here as well. Hello. What do you have? You also don't have melee. Dang. I was very hopeful there. Last round of eggs for now. I think I'll probably just do the rest of them in between episodes, but I figured I'd at least kind of show you what I'm that I'm still working on them. Ah oh, man. Yeah, not a single one had 243 on it. That is unfortunate. This is what I've kind of been doing to try to level up Navy. And uh, I think I am going to go to kind of finish this episode off. We're going to go and steal ourselves another uh, Yeti. Because mine had no level boost and they were one level, like 135 and 140. But I'm curious, with a little bit of a level boost, because we don't have the whole thing yet. He's still definitely not at a max level, but I kind of I kind of want to go see what it would do for me. Because Grinch and the other Yeti are very strong. And uh, I want to know what something that would be over level 200 would be, if that's possible at this point in time. I just remembered I'm going to need a cryopod for it, because you can't put it in the basket. See, I learned something. <laughs> I learned something when I bred up the other gorillas. I actually do have some. I don't know where those ones came from, as to why I still have them. Whatever, let's head over there. Should be coming up on the cave now. Crazy I've been able to make it over here in just one stamina bar, but... I'm really hoping this will work. It should only get about half the uh, bonus levels, though, at about this point. I don't know if it continually goes up. I thought it just goes off in different tiers, but we'll see. There should be a couple of Yetis right in the entrance of this cave, if it's anything like it was before. Yes, there's one right there. It's a 120 male Yeti parent. Let's see. A 145, there's an apparent. Oh, a 130, though, that is. Okay, that could work. That could work. It won't be over 200, though. That much is for sure. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought they weren't going to be aggro to the. They weren't going to aggro to me at all. Okay, none of those are parents. How about you? You're a parent. I can see the baby there, but I can't see what level you are. So 130 also. <laughs> that wolf was a parent too. Not really what we're after. I know I can get that stuff outside. This, though, different scenario. Okay, not seeing any 140s or 150s up here with a baby. Let's flutter around down here. Much better choice for this cave. I'm enjoying this a lot. <laughs> Let's see, either of you guys? 130, 115, 115. Okay. Ooh, a 140 with with babies. Okay, that could do. I don't know. It's definitely still not going to be over 200. I don't even think that would be possible at this point, even with a 150. Speaking of which. Any extra levels on top, though, will be really nice. The 140. Were they both female, too? Oh, nope. There's a male and a female. With partial ones. We can actually be able to compare to the ones that we already have. 
I don't know where it starts to drop. Is that about the right height? Yeah, it is. Okay. Bottom of the crosshair. Okay, I separated them out from the gorillas. That's all I really needed to do right off the bat. Then I just need a stump. I don't even have a uh, better saddle on it, on this guy. It's crazy. Okay. Now, let's take care of the Yeti parent. Oh no, I hit the child. Oops. You can't get up here, can you? Oh, come on, man. Running off. I will not let you escape. There we go. Now if we use if we use navy and we do this I should be able to imprint on him. Oh, why did it only come out as a 140 also? Oh man. The other one's got imprint boosts and stuff. Hmm. I wonder if it's because you're not technically supposed to be able to get any kind of taming on these guys at all dang all right well at least we tested it out and we got ourselves another pair of yetis <laughs> flutter out of the cave boys flutter out of the cave this is where that other drop would have been too right yeah doesn't seem like there's any drops here unfortunately oh my gosh what is that all about I don't know what the lighting is, but there's a Rex and ice right there. I don't feel like it's supposed to look like that, though. Something is a little off. Well, I figured I would at least do another lap and see if there's any treasure, but apparently none of it has respawned yet. So we're just going to take off and uh, take these new baby yetis back home to join the others. And for reference, what should have happened back there? when I uh, decided to try and take the baby is if I do this we take care of the parent dodo and then I and then I claim this see that one got a level boost that one went from 140 to 190 and that's what I thought was gonna happen with the yetis but it's unfortunate that that's just not what happened Oh, they didn't even get cryo sickness. That is interesting also. Unexpected from that, but all right, I'll take it. All right, everyone, I think that will do it for today. And it was a little bit everywhere today, but we did get ourselves a Tapihara and get started on the upper half of the base. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have anything to bring up about this series or any other on the channel, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.